Hey guys, what's up? Uh, Jace here. Um, I'm going to show you guys how to create your own free uh, squeeze page. Um, similar to this right here uh, for free. All these resources are free. Um, the only thing that's not going to be free is the um, opt in box here. Um, I mean, the box, you'll have to have an autoresponder, is what I'm saying, to. Uh, you know, collect your emails and uh, build your list. But um, other than that, uh, you know, and obviously the obvious things, you'll have to have, you know, um, hosting in a domain to put this on and an autoresponder. But as far as building the page, uh, creating this headline uh, was done with a free resource, and this creating the C cover was done with a free resource. Um, I did this pretty pretty quickly off the cuff so you can you know you can obviously choose different colors or spend more time you know um, on it but um uh, so let's get to it um, if you I'm gonna have a link at the bottom of this this video so that you can actually go and learn how to do this more in depth you'll learn where to make these headlines um, where to create these for free, you'll learn where to create this for free um, and everything. Um, I'm not gonna have time to show you all that stuff. I created several videos on this um, so I'll leave that link at the bottom and you guys can go uh, sign up for that if you want to learn learn more but um, just to get an idea uh, you're gonna go ahead and if you don't have Composer already, go ahead and go to Composer.net and download it. Just click download and save that to your computer and uh, install it. And um, one of these days here. Um, so anyway, just save this to your computer. I'm not going to do that because I, I already have it. But um, And then up Composer. It's going to look like this. Uh, real quick, we're going to create the base for this. Um, so you've already got a new, you can name this later, um, but this is going to be your new page, your new project. So um, what we want to do is go up to table, click on that, and insert table. <coughs> Just choose one of these boxes, uh, and then right click inside, go to table cell properties and make sure you click table and we're just gonna make you can make this as wide as you want but we're gonna make it 650 for now um, because our headline is gonna actually conform our headlines actually an image guys so um, and I'll show you like I said in the, in the the uh, the other videos I show you where you can go to create those um, don't really have time to do that in this video but uh, just know that my other videos show you all that stuff and then they are free so um, you want to select center and we're gonna leave it the background color white and just click OK so there's your your base for your um, squeeze page and we're just gonna click in there click image and click this little folder it'll allow you to go to your computer to um, grab an image um, now I created that that uh, header um, with some software uh, that I'll, I'll show you that I show you you know where to go and create that uh, right now I'm just gonna load it in here um, you know, like I say, I go into much more detail in the videos. I just don't have time uh, to do it all in one video right now. It's, uh, but I can show you how to do this. Um, no problem on the free videos. So you're just going to insert the image, and there you go, guys. You got an awesome headline, um, and. Uh, if you wanted to add some bullets now, you could just add plain bullets by clicking the bullet 
button here. Um, what we're going to do though is get some bullets off our computer. So you click where you want the bullets to appear, go to images, again click the folder, um, and you'll obviously have to have some images on your on your some bullet images. You can find those through Master Resale Rights PLR sites. Uh, you might be able to get some free ones um, or purchase you know web graphics and get some. But I have this one that I'm going to use. So double click that. And by the way, guys, if I do recommend using alt text, but for the sake of time, I'm not doing that. If you have this selected. Um, it'll make you put alt text in there. Here's a little image preview. I'm not going to select alt text right now, so just click OK. This would be your bullets, and I'm just going to select that. Hit uh, Control C, and then Enter Control V. Enter Control V enter control V and that's just a quick way to get your bullets on there and then you can put uh, your your bullets here uh, and then select that just the text there and make it bigger so that it looks better um, that's a little too big you can bold it uh, I, I recommend bolding every other one um, but so you've got your cool looking bullets there and you could put some body text here some more body text here if you wanted to um, I'm not gonna do that right now but uh, what we're gonna do now it, you'd put your body text here if you wanted some more body text you don't have to but you know um, whatever you want to do there so our squeeze page is looking pretty good guys as you can see and um, we're going to go up here and, or actually we're just going to right click, hit insert table, again choose one cell, right click inside, table properties, table, we're going to make this 250 just because our, our opt-in box will conform to this box. Um, 250 I know wide is about what I want it because when I go to build my box uh, my opt-in form and there's all kinds of videos guys when you sign up for an autoresponder service on how to build your forms and all that and you can make them as wide or as narrow as you want I'm gonna make mine 250 so I know that it's gonna conform to that um, I'm gonna put it in the center and I'm gonna leave it white and there's your opt-in box okay now I'm not going to do this whole opt-in, go create the opt-in form and all that, um, because this, you know, obviously I can't, I can't show you everything um, in depth, you know, but if you know anything about, you know, opt-in code or whatever, you know, um, and like I said, they'll have videos for you guys when you sign up on how to create your forms and your lists and all that, um, and you may know that already, I don't know. Um, basically what you want to do is click inside the box go to res go to source sorry and see where this is flashing your cursor flashing that's just an easy way to find um, where you need to put your code your Java you can use Java or HTML I just use the HTML in here um, that's fine uh, if you need to manipulate some HTML if you know how to do that you can use the HTML but just click inside the box go to source copy and paste your um, code right there where your cursor is flashing and then when you go back to normal it's gonna show a little yellow tag here a script tag it's not gonna show up until your box isn't gonna show up until you save this and to upload it to the internet you're gonna need to save it as index HTML and to do that just come up to file save as and then save it as index dot htm or index dot html and that'll save your file um, I'm already done that so I'm just this is it right here index dot html and um, 
so to upload this to your site guys you're gonna need to create a subdirectory folder you could call it index and put it on your domain name uh, I show you how to do all that stuff in the videos again guys the, the link down at the bottom um, if you sign up for the videos you'll get uh, for, I don't even know how many videos are in there but it goes from creating your squeeze page to getting it online on your domain name so there's several videos in there and several resources to show you where to create these headlines for free where to create these for free um, and also where to sign up for a free account for your first hundred subscribers um, for get response as well so you get all that info in the videos um, but basically let me show I my desktop's a mess right now I understand isn't this awesome? I don't have time to talk about it, but um, yeah, it's like a Scottish castle. Anyways, uh, all right, guys. So here's my my folder. I just right clicked, create new new folder. For some reason my computer's slow. I got a lot of crap running. Uh, click folder, and then you just name it whatever you want. Um you know name it something that's pertinent to what you're offering people as uh, for free to get them to sign up but in this folder you want to put your image and use JPG don't use PNG because I had problems with that before um, didn't want to didn't want to show up so create the folder put your index.html page that you saved inside the folder okay inside this this folder and put your image this is a PNG image here actually and it oh time's almost up guys uh, that's why I can go over you know everything in this one video but you know sign up for those other videos and it'll show you everything step by step pretty much so um, so we've got our header image. Remember, this is an image, so you have to have it in the folder. Header image. Um, our software box image is in there. Our HTML page is in there, and our bullets in there. Now you have to have these images in this folder, or it won't should they won't show up at all. So, and then you would just go to your FTP program that you use, FTP program of your choice, and upload this file to your domain name so online it's going to be your domain name just ignore this this is on my computer so it's going to show my desktop and all that but it would be your domain here um, slash whatever folder you put put it in like template is the folder we put it in so when you drive people to that, that's where you're going to drive them. Your domain name slash template, because that's the folder we put it in. And uh, it'll be uploaded to your server. And people can then enter the email here. And uh, there you go, guys. That's how to build a free squeeze page yourself. And I also go through some other things in the videos on how to make this border bigger uh, you know add a little depth to it um, and uh, some other stuff in there that I go over and uh, just don't have to time to do it in this video so um, go to the bottom of the vi this video and click the link sign up for the free videos and I'll show you how to do this step by step alright guys thanks